how you doing? This is V, Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going today? I have an unbagging. Now, it's been a while since you guys have seen me do a smaller diamond painting um, unbagging, but there is a diamond painting in this package. So this is from, well, I was, well, for how I found this was from Diamond Painting Obsession. It is a mystery diamond painting. Okay, so I actually, this should be a black and white one. I have simply opened it up um, just to cut it open. And um, yeah, we'll see how this comes out. So I will unbox, open this up. Okay, uh, it's a 30 by 40. I paid, so this is in US, $17.99 US and it was $16.39 for shipping. So the shipping was nearly as much as the diamond painting. Mm, how interesting is that? So this was ordered 22nd of September, which is one, two, three. It took about three weeks, three and a half weeks to get to me. So um, from... Yep, from the US. So let's, that bag's gone. Okay, so um, three weeks from the US um, without paying. Well, I've paid higher freight from the US, but uh, it took even longer to get to me. So, but let's get into this. So it was mystery diamond painting, 30 by 40. So it's a snack one. Um, and it should be a round. So let's get this out of here. See what this is like. Okay, out come the drills. <laughs> How much of that are you seeing? Sorry. Am I gonna have to? I'm gonna have to rip it out of the canvas, out of the plastic bag. That's all there is to it. Oh my goodness, it's, a, it's a been a while since I've seen a small diamond painting. <laughs> oh, look at those jewels. <laughs> Sorry, um, if you've obviously seen all my other diamond paintings, everything is big. So to see something with so few drills. Ah, uh, let's have a look. Standard toolkit, wax boat. Oh, hang on. Oh. There's a new multi-placer I haven't seen before. It looks like a four. Hang on. Because I have seen the other fours, but I've not seen them look like that. Okay. I don't know. I don't use multi-placer, so um, I'll have to give it a go. Maybe. But, yep, standard little toolkit with a not a three-placer, but it looks like a four-placer. Okay, dookie. So yes, it is black and white. <laughs> um, can't quite see the image, which is a good thing. Uh, looks like it's a poured glue. And it actually goes that way. Let's see if I can work it out. Let's see if I can... just going to try and... Just roll it, not bend it, just roll it. That's easing it out. So she's got DMC colours, all the standard basic um, codes, so just the numerical and alphabetical. There is no rings. And it is sparkly. So that's cool. And obviously here you can see the thumbnail is a question mark. Right, I'm just going to peel this back. Okay. Okay. This is probably a good time to show you. It's It's got sticky. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that I haven't had to do for quite a while. 
I'm actually going to get out the uh, well I normally what I do with something like this is I'd get out uh, my hairdryer uh, but I now have a heat gun so a lot of people will actually use an iron so that's come back pretty good um, and they'll and you'll iron say the back of it or you put a towel over the front and be very cautious of it what I am going to do as soon as I go through the colors I'll actually get to and um, get out my gun put some heat on this glue which will soften the glue and I should be able to stretch this out um, and get rid of those little bits of creases but let's go and have a look at the drills Jeez. <laughs> okay, so I will admit it looks like they're in numerical. No, they're not in numerical order. Okay, let's get this through. This won't take long. So all the colours are there. So what I'm going to do is put these in order. Uh, this is one that I'll probably, I might do in just one, <laughs> yeah, one sitting. Um, we'll see how we go. So I might not even kick this one up. Okay, so the trick, got them all in order. Right, let's get them back in there. Spread them. So they're now in B and C order. And I'm just going to straighten it up. Push them down. How's that printing sound? So they are in order. So they've just got some blue, some brown, some nice burgundy. I do like burgundy colours. Any guesses? Anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'll come back very in very 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 shortly and um, I'm going to tackle getting out these little lumps. Okay, so what I have done is I've actually pegged uh, this to um, light pad, so that's hold tight there. You can see that this is not tight on this side, but I do have a peg there and one at the top. Um, Let's see, I'll see if I can give you a better room, better space. There we go. Just move the colours out the way. And there we go. So what I'm going to do, that's probably a better angle. Um, I'm going to put the heat on this and I'm going to push it down and then peg it and keep holding that peg to get it down. Um, I've got nothing holding that, but that should be okay. Two things I'll do. One is I'll use a heat gun while the plastic is still on there initially. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then I'll show you what I do with taking... I'll actually take the plastic off. What you're doing is, um, for me, the way I find this works is the heat's actually softening the glue. Um, you know it is just softening the glue and then you're just laying it down and that just helps for me it help, i find that it helps with the Okay, so this one here, once I've put the drills on it, I'm, it's going to sit flat, really flat, and it's still very sticky. 
Uh, there we go 21 colors 30 by 40 mystery diamond painting it's gonna be pretty cool to do um, this one won't take much at all I will for this one 21 colors I'll uh, pull the bead board out um, and that means there's no putty drills away it'll just all go and get done in one go um, but that one is what they call a snap um, this is what I'd call well you know have a break have a Kit Kat I'd probably call this a Kit Kat not a snack but um, this is something that will give me a break from uh, a, you know my bigger diamond painting so it's always nice to have something small every now and then and when it's small it's easy to resolve and my guessing is it's a flower hmm what else can I see in there? Don't know. What's seven? Seven is a peachy colour. I'm just looking to see if I can guess it. Seven and four is also a seven and four is a peachy, which is those. So my guessing is a flower. But we'll find out. So gems, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a mail Monday mystery diamond painting from a diamond painting obsession I will drop the link down below and um, so you can check it out and give it a go and I will say gems on that note uh, thumbs up thumbs down if you must uh, leave a comment uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel just to check out all the different stuff that I do and of course consider being a member um, a membership is I've only got a few members so it's a very specialized group at the moment um, but they get to see some interesting stuff before it, it goes out so on that note gems I will thank, say thank you for watching and bye for now